If you're here, then you have discovered the power of typing in a question into Google and then adding Reddit after it. But I'm here to tell you that there is a way more efficient way to do Reddit searches. Now, the website we're checking out today is the gigabrain.com or just giga. As it says on their front page, cut the noise, get real answers from real people, which is sort of what Reddit is, right? And we've already discovered that. This isn't anything new. This site just makes the process a whole lot easier. And to really show you the difference, let's look at a before and after. So let's just say we'll use their prompt here. Best anime if you like Vinland Saga. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that here and just search it as if I was going to and ask on Reddit. And you can see, you know, you get the pretty standard, you know, Reddit link. Sometimes you'll get some sub links here. So, you know, we can go check out this first link and then see, oh, you know, there's ads here. It's, you know, all this. And then we got Berserk here. Okay. Kingdom Manga. Okay. Cool. This is some pretty good selection. What does this next link say? Hmm. Okay. Vagabond. That's a new one. Okay. This guy has a lot of results, right? So it's constantly going back and forth and back and forth. And you don't really have a collection of all the data. You're just sort of like, okay, that's cool. I'll just try to remember it, right? As you go from site to site. But now let's go back to Gigabrain and just type in this or, you know, just press it because it's their like preview search. So it will, you don't even have to put Reddit over it. You just search it. And then what it'll do is it'll use its AI algorithm to sort of get all of those responses automatically for us. And you can see here the Gigabrain scanned 233 comments to find you 71 relevant comments from seven relevant discussions. So essentially it took like seven of these links and found the 71 most relevant information out of all of those seven links. So it just saves you so much time. And in addition, it doesn't just give you those links. It gives you an entire summary of all of those links, including a TLDR from those five different Reddit threads. So we can see here it says Berserk, uh, Arslan Senkai, and Kingdom were recommended as similar anime to Vidland Saga. And then it gives you like links to reference where it got that information from. And then it also said that Dororo and uh, Golden Kamui was suggested as other great anime series, but maybe it wasn't like just similar to Vinland Saga. Maybe it was just other good ones that sort of were like it. And then it also gave us a few anime with different themes, but that were still worth watching. Now that was just the TLDR. It actually gives us a much bigger description here if we wanted to see more information on that summary. But if we weren't happy with the summary and we wanted to see specifically what people were saying, all we got to do is scroll down here. And it'll say, you know, here was the post. And then it'll give a summary of the original post. And some posts will be better since this is like a recommendations. It doesn't really relevant. So you got to click the recent replies. And then it'll give you more information based off of what other people were saying. So then you could scroll through here. And then here's another thread that you can go through and read more replies. And these are direct replies from Reddit. And instead of having to go link by link, it's just all in this one website that you can just look at. Now, another cool feature is that you can leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And what that essentially tells the AI is that, yeah, this was a good reply and find more things similar to this. Or if it was a thumbs down, it was like, yeah, this wasn't exactly relevant, not the best you know, reply to show me, and it'll stop showing you things similar to that. So it just helps fine tune it to your own personal preferences. Now, you'll also notice that a lot of words are underlined and have these links here. Essentially, what this is, is a quick way to Google search or open on Amazon if you're looking for like a product or get an extra summary or look it up like on Reddit additionally. So let's say, you know, we want to check out Golden Kamui. You just hover over it and then you click the Google icon and it'll open the information in a new Google tab without you having to search it. So it just streamlines the whole process of doing research within Reddit. And let's say you wanted to like look on Amazon for like Vinland Saga merch. You can click on that and boom, it shows you. Well, I guess in this case, it's the manga, but <laughs> you know, it could also be with merch here too. Now, what's also cool is that you can search for most relevant, most recent, and most upvotes. So you can sort of see, you know, maybe it's a newer topic and you're like, well, I don't want news or like information from a few months ago. I want the most recent information. Then you just click on most recent and it'll regenerate the summary and then give you more recent uh, replies and posts on Reddit. Now, you may have also seen that they have a um, extension that you can install as well in case you're just doing a Google search and then you forget to use the website or maybe you just forget what the website's called. You just add this to Chrome 
And then what it'll do, I can't install it because I'm on a guest window here, but it'll essentially pop up with a little guide of like, hey, you know, here's what, you know, we're searching for, open it on this website. And then you click on it and then boom, you got your search in case you forgot to do it. So it's not the most useful extension, but it definitely can save you if you forget and you're like, oh yeah, that would be so much more efficient here. Now on the website here, it says that you can save the most useful content uh, you find in a searchable archive. I personally haven't been able to find that archive. I don't know where it is or how to access it. So maybe they're still working on it and they just accidentally updated this site. Um, but I'm sure, you know, that's something that we will be seeing here soon in the future. And then they also have a feature that allows you to post your own post in case, you know, you didn't find an answer that you're wanting. And then it'll just post it to the relevant subreddits and you know get your own answers from there now let me say when i switched to doing this instead of you know my usual reddit searches it cut down on so much digging through threads because you know there's going to be comments that you don't really you know want to see and they're not relevant and you know it's just a lot of different tab switching and stuff like that this combines it all into one and makes it so much more efficient i've saved so much time with this website and the best part is it's all free you can just use this for free you do have to make an account but the account is free and then you just get access to it all and as always the link is down in the description so you can go check this out right now and to discover more unique AI sites like this, check out our website at ai-search.io.